Good morning everyone, Jerry here from Recycle Parts for Art. Welcome to the adventures of the little camper. So I just wanted to come on and update you as to my progress. Um, I have really been enjoying uh, doing this. Although it is exhausting, it's a good kind of exhausting and I am not going to bother to clean myself up <laughs> to make these videos. So uh, I hope, uh, you know, you'll be okay with that. Anyway, I'm sure you are. So anyway, I wanted to let you know that we've gotten everything primed. All the walls are primed. So they, campers have wallpaper. And um, typically people don't think that you can paint wallpaper, but I have researched this and a lot of people that have campers have been able to paint their wallpaper and it's fine. It's, it's really stuck on there with some kind of like glue that you can't, you can't get rid of. So you could never take the wallpaper off. I think, I think you would want to just jump off the roof. Anyway, um, we used a primer and, um, from Sharon Williams and then we um, took all the cabinet doors off which were wood and we used a primer, a different primer on those. Um, Sharon Williams has a primer that you do not have to sand. So I know I was a little, I was a little reluctant about that because I have read and um, watched other videos that people sand their cabinets before they paint them. But this primer says it has exceptional um, sticking um, adhesion to shiny surfaces. So we're going to give it a go. And um, I, I only use Sharon William paint. I really like their paint. And so I'm going to trust that it's going to work. So that we used on all the cabinets and all the doors are off in the camper, all the cabinet doors, uh, they've been painted and uh, the primer is ready and we are ready to start painting the first coat of paint. We are painting the camper in white. Everything's going to be white with black accents, black trim here and there. And we haven't quite decided where we're going to put the black. Um, my appliances are white. I don't know if you if anybody is interested in this and wants to do a remodel on a camper and you go onto the Pinterest boards and you start looking at all the ways that people do this, you're gonna see there's no white appliances in any of those pictures. I found that so interesting. So my appliances are white. Uh, what else do I want to tell you? So yesterday, last night I started working on the refrigerator, which uh, was in very good shape. So I just wiped it out with um, some vinegar water but the gasket around the outside edge I was hoping to make a separate video for people to clean that gasket but I have tried every product I can think of to clean that gasket well you can clean it you because it's got like black mold the mistake people make when they have campers um, is they shut the refrigerator and freezer door when they're not using it you need to leave those open the gaskets and the refrigerator needs to breathe. So um, that's what creates a lot of the mold on the camper refrigerators. Anyway, I got the mold off. It's the black mold, so it's gross. I got it off, um, but it's stained, and I was hoping to remove the stains. And I tried a magic eraser, I tried uh, baking soda, I tried vinegar, I tried bleach, I tried soft scrub. I was able to lighten the stains up, but they are still there. So be it. The gasket is clean. I know it's clean. But one of the things that I did uh, learn when I was researching how to clean this was to use a credit card um, in the cracks of the gasket with a paper towel around it. Now, I use a toothbrush to brush with um, the soft scrub and the baking soda and all that stuff but then you're left with like a little bit of a residue and the um, if you want to remove the mold really quickly you wrap a paper towel around the car credit card and just swipe down and pff, it's like amazing so that's just my little tip for today and that's all i got um so today we're going to start painting the walls and uh, i'll come back and show you i'm not going to bother to show you 
Well, do you want to see? Let's let's turn the camera around and I'll show you what um, what the place looks like right now. So very quickly, it's quite the mess. It was tidy this morning when I came in. I try to tidy it up before I leave each day, but of course I've been working here. The refrigerator was giving me fits. So there's there's bleach out. There's vinegar. There's uh, peroxide. There's alcohol. I tried everything. So there's my beautiful refrigerator. And there's my white appliances. And you can see we took all the cabinet doors off. And all the window treatments are gone. And everything has been primered. And yep. We removed all the uh, lighting fixtures. And Brian is spray painting them with uh, black paint. And um, over here, this wall had some trim on it. And sorry for the bumpy. It had some uh, trim, which I felt was like stupid. It made it look like it was a half a wall, so I removed it. And then um, right here around the door, there was, uh, you can see this, the mark left. There was this fabric um, strip. And yesterday we, we thought, oh, we can't remove this. We couldn't figure out how to. Anyway, I came in this morning and part of it was down. So uh, there was buttons along the fabric. If you ever come across this situation, there was buttons along the fabric. You pop the buttons off, there were actually snaps. Sorry about the bump. See, there were actually snaps. And then there's a screw in there. So you just unscrew it. And the whole thing came off. So now I can paint around the doorway. And I see there's a big gaping hole <laughs> along the side of the doorway, so I'm not sure what Brian's plan is for that. We'll see. I just wanted to say goodbye, so I hope everyone has a blessed day full of love and recycled art. And I hope you're enjoying seeing um, what we're doing in the camper. I can't wait till we can start putting furniture and decorating, because that's going to be the fun part. All right, have a blessed day. Bye.